Hey everybody, today I will be doing alkenes. And you have to remember it's alkenes, it's not alkanes. Okay, it has an E N E S alkenes. So for today's lecture, I will be doing a slight introduction of what alkenes is and stuff. Then I will cover the nomenclature of alkenes. Nomenclature basically means the naming of different basic alkenes. And lastly, I will do a bromine test which basically distinguish an alkane from an alkene by adding bromine water into the, a test tube of both solution. So without further ado, let's get started. So firstly, you have to know the general formula for an alkene. Now, let me like let me erase this first not to confuse you guys. So the general formula for an alkene is CnH2n, which basically means the hydro the number of hydrogen is twice the number of carbon. So if my carbon is 1, my hydrogen is 2. If my carbon is 2, my hydrogen is 4. If my carbon is 6, 6, my hydrogen is 12. So the number of hydrogen atom is always twice the number of carbon atoms. So it follows a general formula CnH2n. Now next, let me talk about a characteristic for an alkene. Now, now the thing about an alkene, it has a carbon-carbon double bond, which means it has a carbon-carbon double bond in between. That makes it an alkene. Now this means it's unsaturated. Okay, in my previous alkane video, I say that saturated means it's 100% single bond, which means unsaturated can be single bond, but there must be a double bond in it. So for example, if I have a straight chain of carbon, here, if it's like, okay, in this in this drawing, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not including the hydrogen, but let's assume the hydrogens are already there. So I have four carbons. If I have this, it's an alkene. But once I put this, it's an alkene. And an alkene is unsaturated, which means it is it has a double bond. Therefore, it's an alkene. It's unsaturated. So this part makes it unsaturated. And if I have a double bond here and a double bond here, it is unsaturated. So as long as there's one double bond, it means that it's already unsaturated. Okay, so alkenes are unsaturated, and the thing that makes it an alkene, it has a carbon-carbon double bond. It, if it has a carbon double bond to oxygen, it's not an alkene. It has to be carbon double bonded to another carbon. So now that I've covered some of the basic characteristics of an alkene, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to like show you guys the trend for increasing alkenes. Now, as I said just now, the general formula is CnH2n. Question is, why does the number of carbon atoms here start from 2? Why doesn't it start from 1? Now, an alkene is an, is, it, it needs to have a C-C double bond. Therefore, there's 1, 2 carbon. Therefore, it has in its minimum 2 carbon. If you only have 1 carbon, how is it that you're going to have a double bond? It's impossible to have a double bond with a single carbon. Therefore, you need 2 carbon to make a double bond. Therefore, the number of carbon atom here starts from 2. Okay? So, the molecular formula here follows the general formula CnH2n. So, this is C C2H for C5H10, C8H16. So, it's basically a very easy way to memorize. It's just twice the number of carbon. So, as you, can, as you guys can see, it, it's kind of a lot, kind of, kind of overwhelming. So, I'm going to teach you guys a way to memorize this easily. So, this is my way. Now, the thing that differentiates each the thing that differentiates the name of each alkene is usually the starting part of every word so here's one way eating peanut butter perhaps he said often it's degassing so I, I mean a way to say it is like eating peanut butter perhaps he said often it's degassing that's the expression. Or if, if you don't want to memorize this often, he said needs the guessing part. You can just remember this October, November, December. Eating peanuts, eating peanut butter, perhaps his hair, October, November, December. That's, that's basically the easiest I could come up with. So there you go, guys. That's the way for you to memorize alkenes. Next, let me cover a test for alkenes. Now, for example, you have a test tube. Both test tubes, you do not know what is inside the test tube. The only thing that you know is one of the test tubes contain an alkene and another test tube contains an, al an alkene. And you just want to know which one is an alkene and which one is an alkene. So what you can do is, 
you can add bromine water, you can do a bromination test. So you have two test tubes and you add bromine water, what happens is the alkane will turn brown. You have to know that this bromine water is basically water with bromine. So basically it's just aqueous bromine in water. So this bromine is brown in color. So if let's okay, just imagine if you have a cup of water and you add something brown in it, the whole water, the whole cup of water will turn brown, right? So both of these liquids, alkene and alkene, initially they are colorless. That is how it is. They are colorless. And you add something brown. The alkene will turn brown, but the alkene will still remain colorless. So you have to know the one that turned brown is an alkene and the one which changes color basically. It's not brown, it's alkene. No, actually, alkene doesn't change color. I'm sorry about that, guys. Alkene changes color. It becomes brown. It becomes brown. Yeah. So why is this? So now this is easy to memorize. But let me go in. Let let me just go a little bit higher and explain to and explain to you guys the phenomenon. Why does this happen? Bam. So for example, we have this molecule. Now this molecule is it an alkene or alkene? Let's think. Now the al the general formula for alkene is C and H2N. So this fits C2H4. Now this is 2. If it's 2, what it is? It starts from e eating, right? So therefore it's ethane. Ethene, I mean, sorry guys. Ethene. And then you add Br2, which is bromine water. It creates bromine. And then you form this compound C2H4Br. And this compound is called dibromoethane. Okay, dibromoethane, C2H4Br, and you, as you guys can see, a reaction happened. This dibromoethane is colorless. You will not be able to see it. So let's let's look at the structural formula first. So this is C2H4 over here. This is Br2. Wait, for every alkene reaction here. Okay, for most of the alkene, re alkene reaction, right, you are breaking this double bond to become a single bond over here. Okay, once you form a single bond, each carbon needs four bonds. So this Br comes in over here. So it becomes Br and Br over each N. So as you guys can see, this Br and Br will attach to the carbon. And this, this means a reaction has happened. And this is your dibromoethene. No, actually it's dibromoethane. Sorry for the mistakes guys, I di ethane and this is a colorless compound. So therefore, when you add an alkene in, in, with bromine water, it will still remain with a colorless compound because even though you add a bromine inside, it will react with your alkene and then it will still produce a colorless liquid. But for alkene, without UV light, it will not react with bromine and therefore it will turn brown. It's just like you, you are putting a brown liquid just may just maybe one or two drops of brown liquid into a cup of plain water it will still turn brown so that's how it works but alkene no because the water and the bromine will react to produce another colorless compound so that's how it works guys so for now that's all i have for you guys but if this is insufficient no worries or, or maybe this is um, too basic for you guys you can actually just like this video or you can comment and request for another alkene video because I was thinking to make another alkene video which covers the reactions of alkenes for example I can go through the polymerization reaction addition reaction with halogen water hydrogen so if if I will include all the reactions in this video, this video will take around like 45 minutes, so half an hour to 45 minutes and I don't want to like give you guys information that you guys are not interested in. So if you guys want that video on the reactions of alkenes, do remember to comment below requesting for the video and I will upload it in a week or two depending on the demand. Okay guys, so if you found this lecture helpful, helps you in any way, just give this video a thumbs up. Thank me by giving this video a thumbs up. Comment your questions on this video. If there's anything wrong, if I provided wrong information, you have to let me know. Or if you have some, if you have any query, you have any, you have any questions on alkenes, you need answered, you need someone to explain it to you. You can just comment down below, and I will get back to you. And then, if you want more tutorials, you want more science tutorials, you have to like this video, and of course, you have to subscribe to my channel to be updated for more videos. Okay guys, 
See you in my next video. Bye.